G'day, bloody dickheads, it's the Vaping Fucking Bogan. We're back once again, cunts, with another tasty little RTA this evening, or an RDTA, a rebuildable dripping tank atomizer. It works basically the same as a rebuildable tank atomizer, but uh, the juice goes down the side of the tank and sort of goes into a well, very much like your drippers, and then feeds your wicks from underneath. So it's sort of like a bottom-fed dripper with a tank above it, if that makes any fucking sense. But anyway, this is the version 2 of the original Aroma Miser from Steam Crave. They've done away with some of the bullshit stuff people really hated about it and kept all the stuff they absolutely loved about it. So, you know, a really good example of a company that actually fucking listened to the consumer and then went ahead and executed what people fucking want. But uh, let's have ourselves a little vape, shall we? Got her at 60 watts, a 0.3 ohm, 24 gauge, I think, just canthol in here. I can't remember how many wraps, but uh, it's about six or seven, something like that. Let's have a go. Same top-notch flavour that we got out of the first one. They've really changed nothing in terms of the, uh, you know, functionality of the, uh, the vape, in terms of the amount of airflow that you're getting, and uh, the deck, you know, it's the same two-post, although originally they came out with a three-post, then they added the two-post deck. This comes standard with a two-post velocity-style deck. Uh, same airflow, three mil version and six mil version. So in terms of vape performance, it's pretty much bang on what it was before. Very, very flavourful. Not a Cloud Chasers RDA or RTA, should I say, uh, more of a flavor sort of type tank. You know, I haven't, depending on the build that you put in here, but around about the sort of 60 watts, maybe a little more, is what I found to be the sort of maximum, uh, just in terms of the wicking holes underneath in that well as to what it can fucking handle. But flavor wise, cunts, it is very, very tasty. And still a very healthy fucking plumage. But before we go any further, let's crack open ourselves a little fucking brew. Today we're going to have a, uh, a contemporary works by Still Water. This is the uh, the mono. Uh, actually, can't say we pronounced mono as in stereo mono. Uh, yeah, they got another beer they call stereo. The fucking dash threw me off. Apologies, cunts. The beer is called mono. Galaxy dry hopped pilsner. There you go. What does it say on the back? Da, da, da. Not much, just your know, usual stuff. Don't drink when you're pregnant. Of course not, you fucking idiot. Yeah, contemporary dry hopped Galaxy Pilsner. Or Galaxy Dry Hopped Pilsner. Let's fucking open her up. Smells fairly hoppy to me. Quite a, uh, a murky sort of uh, texture or uh, appearance, should I say. Hoppy, bit of head as you can see. Oh, that is pretty nice. It's very refreshing. Bang straight in the fucking gob with the uh, with the hops. Nice and dry, but with a little bit of a touch of sweetness there. Very hoppy, which I do like. So if you like your hoppy type beers, very nice. Definitely right up there with things like your Sierra, Sierra Nevada um, and your uh, your Founders, that sort of thing. If you like your hoppy beers by those cunts, then you might enjoy this. That's a really top-notch drop. Rightio, back to the fucking task at hand, dickheads. So look, we're going to keep it fairly short, sharp and shiny this evening. There's not a whole lot to really talk about in terms of performance because the performance is pretty much bang on to what I received with the original Aroma Miser. Uh, but the changes that they have made are really, really great. And they make this tank from, you know, a, a really good tank but with some sort of, sort of shortfalls, things that fucking piss you off. Now it's a tank where, you know, the flavour is great and the functionality is fucking top notch. What we're going to do, cunts, jump down below, have a little fucking squeeze, show you the different options. I've got the blue little uh, tank in here, and they do red and black as well, and we'll jump back out and I'll give me final fucking thoughts. Oh. 
all fucking right, dickheads. So this is the 6mm version. It also comes in the 3mm version. We'll have another look at that in just a fucking second. But uh, standard sort of box that you get from uh, good old Steam Crave. Open her up. Got our bag of Sperry's, which is always really fucking nice to see. Plenty of grub, grub screws in there. Plenty of spare O-rings. All that good stuff. You got a spare glass section, which is always nice to see. You got your Allen key wrench. What's this guy here? There you go. And you got some uh, little steam cravey things. What? Well, that's a fucking sticker. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. And a little bit of a manual, but we're going to run through all of that right now. All right. So, as I said, the six mil version being quite a bit taller than the three mil version. First things first, they've done away with this, with the original bullshit drip tip design. <coughs> Excuse me, moi. You've got a standard sort of 510 uh, Delrin drip tip there. Not ridiculously wide bore, but obviously you can now replace it very easily with your own choice. And obviously anything sits nice and flush with the top of your tank. The other big notable is the airflow control ring. So now we've got this nice stainless steel ring which allows you to rotate it, you know, close it off, open her up, cyclops sort of style. But you can run just two of them open or you can run all four. Alrighty, so on the bottom you've got yourself, I think it's a silver plated copper pin. That is adjustable, so very handy. If you do want to run it on a hybrid mech mod, it is suitable. You got designed by BJ, good old BJ, done another top notch job, mate. Uh, got a serial number, 4679. Got some engravings, sort of laser engraved, Aromizer RDTA V2. Got Steam Crave up the top here. If we unscrew the base to get to our deck. Voila, there we go, a nice velocity style two post deck. Got some nice beefy post holes there. Now I believe these are about two millimeters in diameter. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure they're two. Grub screws on the side. Excuse my camera while he, there we go. Grub screws on the side. Haven't had any issues with these uh, screws, really nice and solid. You can remove the deck. So if you were, say, a more of a fan of the three-post design from the original first version, you can put your standard three-post design decks in there. The juice flow obviously comes down, pulls in the bottom here, and is fed up through those holes to your deck. So your wicks are sitting just basically over the top of those holes. Now, if you want to know how to wick this, I do basically the exact same method on the Supreme. So I did a little uh, wicking tutorial in my Supreme uh, review, the uh, Steam Crave Supreme RTA. So you want to know how I wick it, have a look at that review. It's exactly the same, it's just smaller. Okay, just a smaller deck and uh, you wick it exactly the same, just sitting over the top of those holes. Moving right along. So I said these are the uh, eight holes that your juice comes through from your tank. It's fed down through there. You can see those holes there. Drops down into the well and feeds your deck. We can then obviously break it down, and that's how you fill it too, cunts, should I uh, point out. You want to get your, your squeezy bottle, get a needle or whatever, and just bung your juice straight in there. Glass droppers work just fine. Needle nose squeezy bottles work uh, much easier, but, uh, you know, not the easiest fill method. As I said, I would have liked to have fucking seen top fill uh, in this tank. Unfortunately, we still have this bottom fill method, but it does work. Okay, fairly small reduced chamber, so again, contributing to our flavor. can unscrew this cunt, there you go, there's your juice holes going through there. Got your glass section, which is available in red and black and obviously good old fucking blue. There you go. You got your top section here, which is uh, obviously a big portion of your uh, capacity in the top there, but you've got your window to see how much juice is in there. You can buy these sections, just the top section, for your uh, you know, old aroma miser, your V1. Uh, if you don't want this you know, stupid lip that the original has, there you go, that's the original. So if you don't like that, you can basically take this and you can screw that cunt 
straight onto the top of your uh, of your original aromizer. They are interchangeable. Also, that airflow control, if you weren't a fan of the rubber ring and you wanted to close it off, you can just buy this section here and that will screw down onto your original no fucking worries. So, I think that about wraps it up, dickheads. That's a 3mm. Uh, quick statistics for you. It's a 23mm diameter. I forgot to mention that earlier. 23mm across both of them. The 6mm uh, has a total height of 56.1mm. Okay, from bottom to drip tip. Obviously, this is not the original drip tip. The 6mm has a 66.6mm uh, length from the bottom to top. Alrighty, dickhead. So, 23 by 66.6. 66 six fucking six for the six mil easy to remember and uh, 56.1 for the three mil which is what I've got here and I think that about wraps her up dickheads uh, three mil capacity six mil capacity 23 millimeters there's all your figures there's all your numbers there's all your bits let's jump back out talk on it have a little vape and uh, tell you what I fucking think so there you buddy go, dickheads. A close-up little squeeze at the V2 Aromamizer. And as you can see, you know, once again, it's a very tidy, very nice-looking RDA. I really like what they've done with, uh, you know, the airflow control ring, pissing off that stupid rubber band. Now we've got a nice, solid stainless steel option there, which is good to see. The, the ability to put my own fucking drip tips in there and not have to worry about some stupid fucking lip or get some custom drip tip that slides over the top of it. Yeah, fuck that. So... Really fucking good, glad to see that they've actually fucking changed, you know, the things that we wanted fucking changed. My major gripe, my major gripe is the fucking, the fill method. Now, the fill method is pretty fucking easy. You know, you unscrew it, you fucking tip her upside down, you bung your juice in. So, it's not like it's a difficult fill method, but in this day and age, you know, in 2016, an RTA or an RDTA without top fill... It's like a bogan who doesn't fucking drink. It's just not right. It's like, what the fuck is going on? You know, put a top fill. It's not that fucking hard. It's not rocket science. Put a top fill option in there. Now, I'm sure they've got their reasons or whatever. I hope they've got a fucking reason because it really should have top fill. Apart from that, that's my only major negative. You know, everything else that we liked about the first version is still there, but they've changed up the shit that we didn't. Build quality is, once again, very good from Steam Crave. Uh, the aesthetics of it, I do like it. I like that they've added these little uh, options now with the uh, the glass section, you know, different colours, blue, red, your fucking black, whatever. So you can sort of mix and match and customise it just a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it's a bloody good vape. Some other things to point out that I really like about what Steam Crave have done with their uh, V2 version is they haven't said, okay, look, we've come out with a V2, your old one is obsolete, go and fucking buy a new tank. Which is what a lot of fucking companies do when they bring out a version 2 or a re, you know, rethink of the original, and they make you go and buy a new tank. Steam Crave actually sell the top sections, just that, that top section there without the, uh, the stupid fucking drip tip lip, on their own. They sell them for... 13 bucks 90 through their website. You can usually pick them up through a bunch of different vendors as well. So you don't have to go and buy a whole new tank if you just want to put your own fucking drip tip on there. Go buy on the top for, you know, 14 bucks. Bob's your fucking uncle. You can put your own bloody drip tips in there. You can also go and buy just the midsection there with that new adjustable airflow ring. So you don't have to, again, you know, go and buy a whole new tank if you want that adjustable airflow. You just buy the midsection. What are they selling for? The airflow control section, 14 bucks 90. So 15 schmackos, and you can get yourself that adjustable airflow ring in stainless bloody steel. You know, and if the top airflow thing, uh, top uh, drip tip's not really, you, you know, your thing, you can just buy one or the other, or you can buy both, or you can go and buy the whole new tank if you fucking choose. So... They're not leaving the uh, the cunts out in the in the cold who really like the first version and don't want to buy a whole new tank. You can go and upgrade the parts that you do want uh, for a pretty fair fucking price. So I do really like that all the parts are interchangeable. The old decks are interchangeable. The base, the top, the glass, everything is interchangeable with the first to the second version. You know, you can just choose what you fucking like and uh, and what you bloody need. So, price-wise, dickheads, what are they selling these for? 
Steam Crave have them on their fucking website uh, directly for 45 schmackos. The 3 and the 6 mil version for 43 schmackos. Here in Australia, you can pick them up for about 47 and $49, the, the 3 and the 6 mil respectively. And in the US, you know, they're, uh, I think they're about the same as what Steam Crave is selling them for. I'll put a few links or whatever you like. So, not a cheap tank, not the cheapest RTA out there on the market, but not ridiculously expensive, and it does have some great fucking performance and some really nice features to it. You know, I, I do enjoy this tank. It, as I said, cunts, it's not a Cloud Chasers RDA, or uh, sorry, RTA. You know, if you're looking for, you know, 80 watts, you know, 90 watts, you know, big juice flow, you know, lots and lots of airflow, then you might want to look at something like the Supreme from Aromizer, you know, or four of these other tanks that are coming out at the moment. The Boreas is really good. The new, excuse me, what, the Griffin 25mm. You know, these are built for more of your higher wattage sort of uh, cloud chasing type builds. But if you're more of a flavor chaser, if you like something from anywhere from like 25, 30 watts up to like 60 watts, and you're more of a flavor chaser, then this tank is definitely a really, really good putter outer. Putter outer of the fucking flavor. It's not a fucking language, but anyway. Yeah, it's a nice bait. So think about it, it wraps it up, dickheads. I'll put the links below. Great job on uh, you know most of the upgrades there, uh, Steam Crave, the uh, the top cap, the, uh, the the fucking airflow ring, the deck. Please, if you do a V3, make it top fill. For fuck's sake, we we don't need to be unscrewing and tipping our tanks upside down in 2016. Jesus. Anyway, a nice little uh, nice little bit of kit. I'm the vaping fucking bogan, so you dickheads better be sub your fucking dicks off, sub your fucking tits off, staying off the bloody stinkies, because that's what it's all about, and having a bloody good one. Now, we'll be giving away the 6mm version of one of these in my giveaway uh, that I'm currently running, so if you're watching this and uh, it hasn't uh, hasn't been too long, then jump onto my uh, giveaway video. It's, it's on me fucking, you know, YouTube page or whatever you want to bloody call it. Uh, doing a whole bunch of other shit, heaps of stuff up for grabs, and uh, one of these six mils is in one of those prize baggies. Other than that, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that other bullshit. I'll put all the links below, and obviously cheers for all the support. This beer is brought to you by uh, Luke fucking Blindman, so fucking thank you very much, sir, for the uh, the tasty drop or the donation to, uh, to the beer fund. Go on down a treat. Fucking cheers, Lukey. Have a bloody good one, dickheads. Cheerio.